Hi everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Magical Diary Horse Hall. I'm Lady Shira. And this is Shrine Morning. Alright, let's get our week on the go. Are we going to start off with... Oh, of course. We always start off with something. I know. I don't understand. Why are classes cancelled on Friday? Because of the dark dance on Thursday night. Oh yes, night. that's right. We're told about this. Oh yeah, the Halloween dance with spirits or whatever. A dance, but I don't have anything to wear. I haven't asked anyone. Well... Does anyone have anything to wear? Aren't we just wearing robes? <laughs> I thought so. It's in the dark, right? Yeah. Not that kind of dance. It's a ritual. On Halloween night, witches and wizards dance in the dark so the fairies can visit. Oh, it's fairies. This it's sounds a ceremonial silly. thing. At home, we only do it for a few minutes, but because there's so many of us here, they make it into a big event at school. It goes on all night. So it's not really a romantic type dance, but I guess you could bring a date if you wanted to. So will you be going with Jacob? Wait, why Jacob? I don't know. Wasn't he that douche that just tried to like, yeah, he's crash our Harry sports Potter club? Yeah, what that the heck? ran against. What? You like Jacob? No, where did you get that idea? Well, he's always teasing you. So is Donald. That just means he's a jerk. Yeah, but Sorry. Donald's her brother, so it's different. I guess, but I didn't think that Jacob liked her either. I never noticed, at least. Mm -mm. Whatever. So what should I do this week? All right. I'll have an abbreviated schedule then. I know. All righty. Let's see. Let's study some white because we're close to 20 and that we'll probably get a spell, right? Yeah. And then I mentioned um, the other test we took. Then we should probably get our smart up so we can have more magic. All right. So that's what's going on. All right. Ready? That's what's up. <laughs> yes. So this will probably be a short week. We could probably do two weeks at once like we did the last few times. Well, we do have the dance. We don't know what's going to go down. Hopefully it's not too eventful. Wow, we only got one each day. Oh, we got spirit echoes. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, it's Donald and Virginia. That's what not a good team. What are they going to be arguing about this time? <laughs> I find Donald and Virginia standing outside our room. Don't you have something for me? Oh, right. His birthday present. All right, I remember we made a suggestion last time. All right, so it was, did she listen to it? I think we said music, but she didn't know like what kind of music to get him. All right, let's see. Hopefully this is amusing. Yeah, yeah. Happy birthday, you goof. She hands him a box. Horace helped me pick. Uh-oh. I hope we don't get blamed for this. Really? Look at his rosy cheeks. Does he love us? I, I don't know. I just gave her suggestions. She picked it out. I don't even know what it is. Just in case she got him an exploding whoopee cushion in the end, I don't want that pinned on me. <laughs> yeah, there you go. He opens it carefully. A harmonica? Ew, that's like the worst one. They're so annoying sounding if you don't know how to play. <laughs> <laughs> because of music. <laughs> wow. Great reasoning, Virginia. That's not even like a sentence. It sounds like because something in music. a K-pop song. <laughs> because of music. Or like in an internet meme, like because of reasons. Because yes. of music. That's cool. Well, thanks, I guess. He doesn't seem too impressed. Happy birthday! He doesn't seem angry either, which is good. Well, yeah, I wouldn't want to anger him. Oh, yay, I'm gaining my smarts. Oh, so what do you think about the dance tomorrow? I've never done anything like it. It sounds a little like a drum circle. Wait, Should I be hope interesting she's not to trying see. to invite us. Oh, crap, I didn't think about that. Or not see, I guess. Are you going to ask anyone? Virginia said it wasn't that kind of dance. Yes, but that means it's easier. It's not like a real date, so... So what? What's that? What? There's something taped to the door of our room. Something pink and rectangular. What? What? Ellen takes it down and looks at it. Well, I guess you don't need to ask anyone. What's hands, that supposed to mean? I, I'm scared. She hands me the envelope with my name on it. I take out the letter inside and begin to read. Dear Horace, please don't throw this away. I know I deserve it. I've been terrible to you. Wait... I'm scared. What is this? I flick down to the end. Damien! Oh, God. But, I forgot about him totally. Um, I thought he was being a douche to us. He was. I guess that's what he's apologizing for in here, but still, what the heck? It's been a month. Yeah, like she says. <sighs> After refusing to talk to me for a month, now he's sending me love letters? I keep reading. You deserve better. I should have told you what was going on. <laughs> what is going on? What is this letter? <laughs> Please meet me tomorrow before the dark dance. I will explain everything. Sounds like such a sorry sap. So, who's it from? Damien. Oh. Um. Hmm. I'm kind of, like, I don't want to tear it up. I kind of want to keep it just to see what happens. I don't know. It's up to you. 
I want to hear... accept his apology or not. I want to hear his explanation, because I don't really understand what he's going to explain away. <laughs> yeah, seriously. So, what do you think? Keep it? It's up to you. Let's keep it. Why not? I fold up the letter and tuck it into my pocket. It's not a love letter. He says he wants to talk to me. That's all. Don't tell Virginia, okay? I want to find out what's going on. All right. Just when you thought we were free of this uh, drama. I know, it really. It pops up at the last minute. Late in the evening, hours after dinner, the students are summoned to the dark dance. Look, can you, can you tell us the dark dance? Look, it's dark. I get it. <laughs> Even in the halls, the lights have been turned off, leaving only moonlight and the faint blue glow of magic to navigate by. I wasn't aware that magic had a faint blue glow. Apparently. Somewhere in the distance, the sound of drums forms an awakened heartbeat. Reminds me of the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> Except gayer. <laughs> yeah, well, that too. <laughs> but before I can reach the dance, someone catches my arm. Oh, crap. Oh, I have to do my Damien voice now. Horace. Hi. I'm glad I could find you. I was afraid I'd be too late. I had been an idiot. Look, what I said to you that day, I didn't mean it. Then why did you say it? Because I was trying to push you away. Well, you did that. I'm sure you've heard the stories by now. William would have made sure of that, about me and the girls, and how I hurt people that get close to me. And it's true. Um, <laughs> Why are you telling us this? I don't know. This is so strange. And so after the fact. I don't expect you to understand. You're, you're filled with light. You're a happy person. You're bright and fresh and honest and enthusiastic. That's what I like about you. Hmm. But me, I've got a lot of dark things in my life. Things I can't talk about. Not with anyone. Like your wings? I, I know they're there. About your blue skin? <laughs> When I've been with girls, I can't let them get too close. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean exactly? <laughs> I was so scared by this conversation. And if they keep trying, I have to stop them. Uh, but we weren't really trying. To get I close really to them. was not trying at all. <laughs> I don't see what this has to do with me. <laughs> Even Horace. Don't you? We weren't dating. No, it was worse. We were becoming friends. Oh, the horror. I started to feel like I could trust you. And that scared me. You're not like the other girls, Horace. You're special. I know. Watching you explore your new world here at school, all eyes and stars, it makes me happy. And that's dangerous. So wait, does he realize we're seeing stars in our eyes each time we transition the screen? Oh, snap. He knows our secret. He knows too much about us. Uh, why? <laughs> See, that's it. You're innocent. It's cute. Ooh, I just got cute points. For no reason. Woohoo. I lied to you, and then I tried to stay away, but I missed you. Knowing that you thought I hated you, knowing that even when I sent you presents, you never imagined they were from me. That box was from you? Wait, what box? Th the box we threw out? Oh, the one that we thought was Virginia. I guess so. The one that we thought was like more cat poop or whatever. Or oh, Jersey the one dung. with the girly uh, handwriting on it? Yeah, that's his girly handwriting. That actually figures, doesn't it? Oh. I thought it was another prank. I threw it away. <laughs> Own Damien. <laughs> Even your gifts have no effect on us. <laughs> oh. Oops. <laughs> anyway, I decided that I owed it to you to tell you the truth about what happened. And to say that I'm sorry. I'd like to be friends again if we can be. If you can understand. Hmm... I don't know, do we really want to be friends with this guy? He seems pretty weird. Yeah, he seems very strange. What's with this whole, like, oh, I'm so dark and I have such a dark history, but I can't tell anyone. I don't know, he's really annoying. What should I say? Um, well, I guess the middle option's a good kind of letdown. Yeah, that's true. Path. All right. I don't think so. Your secrets are your business, but if you can't trust anybody, you can't have any friends. You'll have to decide when it's worth it to let it someone in. I see. He looks away and I wonder if I've been too harsh. I... I have to think. I'll talk to you later, alright? Sure, I guess. I hope you enjoyed the dance. You well, smiles. it's not that kind of dance, Damien. Right. He smiles faintly, then walks away. Wait, so he's not going to the dance? Um, no, I guess not. 
Maybe whatever he is, it offends the spirits or the fairies or whatever. Oh, his wings are offensive. Or maybe he's a fairy himself, so he doesn't want to be summoned by us. <laughs> maybe. When I walk into the darkened gym, my eyes are nearly useless, but my other senses are overwhelmed. Pine sap, evergreen, the scent thick and strong and sweet. The fragile crunch of dead leaves underfoot. Wait, they put leaves on the whole gym floor? I don't see them, but I'll take their word for it. <laughs> Me neither. Swirling breezes drifting hot and cold, autumn mixed with smoke. Murmurs and laughter from unseen lips all blending together. And under it all, music. Not as loud as it was at the junior high dance at my old school, where the only way to hear the tune was to stand outside the building. Just music all around me. Is this how wizards throw a party? I can't really see party. the people. <laughs> I can't really see the people around me, because there aren't any. But their presence registers through sound and shadow, dancing, and so I begin to dance as well. Not too fast. I have to focus on my surroundings so I don't wave my arms right into someone else. <laughs> but it's fun. Yeah, but it's dark, so I don't know if you can really tell too well where we're going. I hope I'm, like, slapping people in the face as I dance. That would be brilliant. I hope we're slapping Jacob. <laughs> yes. So rude. And Minnie. Can we, yeah, the two can of them. slap her? No one can see me. I can't see myself. <laughs> <laughs> Are your eyes open, Horace? <laughs> well, even if you can't see yourself, at least you... Or aware of where your body is. Maybe she can't feel her extremities. And it looks like there's moonlight coming in from the windows, so Yeah, it doesn't come look on. too dark in there at all. Anyway. And the music goes on and on, looping into and over itself without ever reaching an end, playing tricks with my sense of time. It feels magical. Gee, go figure. <laughs> at a magic school. Are there really spirits dancing here with us? Oh. Hmm. Um, I don't know. Didn't they say... That like they that's why we have the lights off. So yeah, you have to figure them. they have it dark for a reason. Yeah, I'm too scared to cast it. I don't think we're supposed to. Alright, let's just keep dancing. But that's cool that it's a choice, I guess. I'll just have to take it on faith. Surrounded by friends and strangers, I dance the night away. Good job, Horace. Oh, our stress is gone. Sweet. Cluster Even though we were up all night, our stress <laughs> is somehow gone? Maybe we slept until like five PM the next day. Maybe. Classes are canceled on Friday, so we get to sleep in and let out some stress. After lunch, stuff. we all come back to the room to relax. At least Virginia and I do. Ellen sits at her desk and pulls a large book off the shelf, but lays it down closed in front of her and sighs. Oh, Virginia. I mean, Ellen, what's up with you now? I don't know. What's up? Nothing. Just the dance. Hmm. Did Ellen have a date? It's a good thing Virginia didn't realize what we were doing before the dance. Oh, She'd be know. so pissed at us. Ellen might tell on us, though. I hope not. The reaction is immediate. Whoa, I'm sorry. Look at her face. Uh, are you okay? What happened? She scrubs at her face and sniffs, trying to push the wetness back into her eyes and failing. Was she playing to ask William out? Oh, probably, because everyone's obsessed with William. Uh-oh. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like nothing. Um, <laughs> God, I hate when I do that. <laughs> that doesn't look like nothing. Nothing happened. Nothing ever will happen. He said, because of you. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> what? Me? Oh, snap. Because I'm your roommate, so it's like I'm his sister, too. Um, okay. William is kind of weird like that, but <laughs> who cares? He's overrated. I know. Virginia, <laughs> come on. Sis, you you like Donald? I smack her on the arm, you idiot. Oh, no, you idiot. William. Oh. No, I like William. I thought he swore off girls after Angela. What? <laughs> what? Whoa, wait. Who's Angela and what? Angela was that, that one girl I think we saw at the beginning of the year. Oh, she I don't was, remember doing something. I don't remember. There was an Angela though. I remember that. Okay. So he swore off girls after Angela. Does that mean he was with boys? I suppose so. That Unless he was just not seeing anyone. Mm. That butterfly senior who was so nasty? He, he went out with her. But not me. She is awful. That's why they broke up. Look, Ellen, I'm not good at sensitive stuff, but I know my brother wouldn't want to hurt you. Didn't say he did. Well, just, I mean, I want to make you feel better. I'm fine. Virginia sighs. That relationship must have been bad if you just swore off an entire sex because of it. <laughs> I know, jeez. Um. Well, we should probably change the subject. Yeah, Ellen. Uh, yeah, this is just so awkward. Let's just, uh. Please. 
Alan's obviously unhappy, but maybe she'll feel better if we talk about something else. So what about you, Virginia? You still haven't told us who you like. Which boy is it that's better than Jacob? I don't like any boys. Any girls, then? No, I don't like anybody that way. Why not? Maybe I have high standards? <sighs> yeah, sure. There must be somebody that sparkles a little for you. I know, sparkles. I know, it's William. Edward Cullen? It's William, it's William. <laughs> Oh yeah, William's pretty sparkly. Maybe you just don't realize it. That makes no sense at all. I bet the person you like, you really like, is. Oh wow! Oh William, William's on the list. Mm, but I, I don't know. I, I don't That's think gonna I can be say that. awkward, especially because Ellen likes him. Yeah, I don't think I can We're say that. We're trying to get off the subject. Of I don't William. think I can say that. Um, Jacob, I don't think she likes him. Pastel? She was like grinding her hips on me. <laughs> I don't think it's Ellen. They don't really seem to that like each other. That would be awkward. Yeah. I don't think she likes Damien. And Balthazar Definitely was her not. senior, but she said that he was like into plants weird or something. Right? I guess so. Um, so none of the above? <laughs> well, we could probably tease her about one of them. Should we continue with Jacob or should we go with someone else? I think either Jacob or Balthazar would be amusing. All it's right. up to you to choose which one though. Um, Let's go with Balthazar because he just sounds so disgusting. Sure. Balthazar. No! Look at her face. She's happy about it. Okay, there's a serious rule. Whoever I eventually like, they have not have to be. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoever I eventually like, they have to be not afraid of sunlight. Is he a vampire? I don't know. I thought he was into plants. Wouldn't someone who I don't think likes you ever really saw like him. sunlight? I know. I want to see him. I, I'm picturing like this green blob in my mind. <laughs> All right. What else? Um. No nerds. Sorry, Ellen. <laughs> well, I didn't want to go out with you anyway. Oh, all right. Interesting face. Better head off that train of thought. Tall? Short? Why would that matter? Dancing? Slow dancing is boring. Okay, so you want someone more active. How about Jeffrey Armstrong? The glittery one? Oh, we had to say, we said he had a sparkle, right? Yeah, that's what so, she said. So, uh, glittery one. No boys who are in love with themselves. We go on like that for a while, not reaching any real conclusion, but at least keeping the focus off Ellen. I think that rule would exclude a lot of the boys at the school. <laughs> I think so, too. Actually, that was a long day for a day off. Seriously, good lord. <sighs> on Saturday morning, I get up terribly early and deliver the mail and the allowances. Then I'm free for the day. What should I do today? Um, um, well, if we go to study, we'll increase our smart by one. Right, by one. And I, that would be 30, and that sounds cool, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything going on at the mall. Oh, right, and she'll also raise our green, I guess? The library is she fairly should. quiet, but familiar faces are still present. Study with Minnie. Do I also increase my smart? With yeah, her? I think so. Minnie helps me out with my green magic. Indeed. Yes, it does. Okay. Ooh, but she gives me four stress. Goodness. She's a stressful person to be around. Ugh. Oh. All right, so I think we just ended after one week there, because it's actually pretty eventful. Yes, Friday. We saw Damien, and... Oh, oh I guess we have to <laughs> deal with him again. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's gonna just like. Oh, he said he was gonna talk to us again later. Yeah, but he. We thought he was gonna continue to talk to us after our first meeting too, but he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll see how that turns out. Oi. All right, everyone. See you next week. Bye. Later.